Hey guys, we're back with part two of the moot trial. Thank you for waiting while I finished editing that. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Tell us at this point, you could say you have nothing or you could call the May I um, well first may I please call the police officer back to the chair. Okay. Come okay. on back. I'm glad you're back because I want you to testify. Is that the coffee cup with the sugar? That is, right? Yes, that is. Yes. What was the exact statement that that my client said? Objection, Your Honor. He cannot be. He cannot be um, expected <laughs> to remember exactly what he said in the time of the time. Counsel, you are exactly right. But what is he holding in his hand? Report. So I'm going to allow the police officer to refresh his memory by looking very quickly at his police statement. But thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so um, your client, uh, Mr. Mr. Jones, and he said, yes, I purchased the coffee, which gave him the right to take up any sugar back as he wanted. And there was nothing, and, and, oh, geez, day three. Just me. <laughs> Just me. Yes. Thank you. May I please call the sto store owner to... You can call him back. Come on up, store owner. That that my client that my client bought a coffee. Uh, I would hope so. But do we have a receipt for that? Introduce some evidence. Um. You may want to show him and say, "Is that the receipt?" Is this the receipt? Um. Looks accurate. Uh, is it true that that if you buy coffee, you can take as many sugar packets as you want? Uh, yes, for uh, what you need for your coffee. But is there anything showing that that is a rule? No. Thank you. I took it to him too. Um, Did the jury um, hear that sufficiently? Mm. On um, the receipt, it says um, if you, your order should be correct every time we fix it, we'll fix it right away and give you a free treat. If you have trouble, just let your associate know that. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, objection, Your Honor. Relevancy. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm not sure why, why is that relevant. That has nothing to do with if you, that's if you lose your coffee and you didn't lose your coffee, that's irrelevant. Wait, wait, I'll make it relevant in a second. So, um, our, um, our client said his coffee tasted a little weird, so he this got his free. Yeah, you're right. Oh. You're objecting? Objecting, Your Honor. This yeah. is a statement, not a question. Yeah, what's the question for this witness? He's been called back and forth multiple um, times. Why can um, his um, free treat be the sugar packets because his coffee um, tasted odd? So. I'm not sure where to go with this counselor. Well, he, he, didn't. he didn't say that. Okay, say it then. Well, <laughs> he's I'm going to uphold the objection. I, I, I'm not sure where he's going with that line of okay. question. The, uh, and I would just, uh, before you begin, uh, Mr. Jones, uh, has your counsel, uh, your defense team advised you that you do not have to take the stand? Uh, uh, they, they have. You don't have to take the stand. Uh, is this going to be all free will? Do you want to testify? Uh, okay. That's number eight. Go ahead. Wait, don't you still have to swear them in? 
Okay. He's been sworn in. So was it true that you bought a coffee? Yeah, a medium uh, Colombian coffee. Tasted a bit odd, which is like to take many sugar packets and one because you see. Is it uh, was there any sign saying that you could take as many sugar packets as you wanted? No, uh, there was no sign. Uh, is it true that you were nervous? Yes, I was nervous. Um, I was afraid I was I'd lose my job because of the recent um, fires and we're edging close to my office and I um, my uh, employer, my boss told me to come quick to the uh, office to cut papers and stuff because the fire was um, getting close to the office. So Objection. Just, if there was a fire, why would you steal it? But that's, that's not a question. It's a, it's a statement. You're, you're already coming to a conclusionary statement. Is that why you were running? Yes, because it was like five miles out and papers were important. So, did the police officer, did you just not tell the police officer that officer that because you felt it was irrelevant or? I, I believe I didn't tell the officer that because I was nervous. My first time being pulled over and asked. <laughs> if I remember correctly, he only asked whether or not there were sugar packets in your cup. Yep. So. What exactly are your plans for after the cop shot? Um, I was planning to head to my office, collect the papers, and plan, um, plan room in my house, turn into an office, since I believe the fire would take out the office building. Oh, okay. And how did you know that there was a fire? Because, um, in the local news, it was talking about massive wildfire, getting close to the um, town that the office building was in and um, uh, and my boss told me um, on my way to the Panera shop about the fire and I was feeling a bit like tired so I went to Panera to get coffee and lunch for a bit because I knew I had time but um, my boss like Call me again. You say, I'm this question. <laughs> um, another witness who's watching me who does not watch me the entire time. Who, why would someone watch someone over an hour? Yeah, so if you knew about the fire beforehand, why would you go to Panera for an hour? I <laughs> You got the call from your boss, right? Why did you take a cup full of sugar packets? Instead of going responding to an emergency. Because I want to keep some sugar packets for myself and my boss and other co-workers. So in the case of the emergency, you thought getting sugar packets might <laughs> do what exactly? Um, stimulate stim me and my other co-workers and they put the papers in the truck. So, you're saying that when your boss told you and it was an emergency, you decided, hey, I'm going to take some sugar package to stimulate them? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Do not mean to inside serum, for I did not know there's a rule. So... This is in an emergency, this kind of feeling of urgency. Yes. You weren't that very urgent with responding to the emergency from your boss because you took time 
to stuff a sugar packet into a cup to stimulate your core. <laughs> <laughs> No further question. Very good. Um, if so, did you did you take the sugar packets because you thought they were free, or because you thought you had you were had a right to them because you, you didn't like the coffee that you drank all of? Both of those reasons. Oh, interesting. No further questions, John. Any rebuttal questions from the defense? Um, no, I don't think so. Approached the store manager or employees to get free sugar packets, which the receipt says on the top about the free treat. And it's supposed to be not the free treat is also supposed to be the free treat is also supposed to be another coffee or something else. But he also drank the entire coffee. So he couldn't get a free treat anymore because he was done with the thing, with the coffee. He also, there's sufficient ed evidence with the police officer, he was nervous with the police officer. He was nervous when he was taking the strip packets and he ran out of the store. There's sufficient ev evidence to suggest that he did in fact have the mens rea or mental intent for larceny. He knew he was stealing those, those sugar packets. And I'd like to use an example for this one. At a rest, if you go to a restaurant, you have the salt and pepper to use on your food, but you're not allowed to leave with those salt and pepper shakers. You're allowed to use them for your food and then leave. You're not allowed to leave with some salt or pepper. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's all. Thank you. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client should not be fined for the crime. For crimes he did not commit. Massachusetts General Law, General Law Chapter 266, Subsection 30, defines larceny as the unlawful taking and carrying away of another person's private pro, personal property with a specific intent to permanently deprive the person of the property. While my client did carry away Panera Coffee Shop's sugar, there's no unlawful taking. Panera, the Panera Coffee Shop had stated that the sugar is for customers who purchase the co coffee. There's no sign limiting the amount of sugar the customer can take. Furthermore, when, furthermore, when Panera Coffee Shop stated that the sugar is for the customers who purchased the coffee, my client was given ownership interest over the sugar packets when when he purchased the coffee. As a result, my client was entitled to grab as many sugar packets as he wanted. Tell the jury um, what the uh, standards are. Larceny in Massachusetts is the unlawful taking <coughs> and carrying away the actus reus of another's personal property with a specific intent, the mens rea, to permanently deprive the person of their property. Um, the following are potential defenses that you can look at based on the evidence presented. The, the, the defendant had lawful permission or honestly and reasonably believed they had no intent to take the property, that the property was abandoned, or the defendant honestly and reasonably, reasonably believed that the property was abandoned, or the defendant had an ownership interest or honestly and reasonably believed he had an ownership interest in the property. Um, the conviction uh, must be uh, based on proof beyond a reasonable doubt, not all doubt, just reasonable doubt. Uh, and conviction can be based on direct and, cir and or circumstantial evidence. I think both sides made uh, some very interesting points. I turn it over to the jury for you two to deliberate. And uh, in Massachusetts, any crime um, where you spend any amount of time in jail, it must be a unanimous decision of the jury to convict. If even one of you uh, believes that, per, uh, that the defendant is not guilty, then there is, uh, the defendant will be not guilty. If all of you believe they'll be convicted, he can be convicted, he will be convicted. Okay, has the uh, jury been decided? We have. We have, we have your okay, honor. Get the, uh... Okay, everybody. Okay. All rise.
please. Plank up in the, the jury can sit down. You've done your work. Okay. Um, in the case of the state versus Jim Jones, uh, the jury has reached a verdict. And uh, I'm going to poll the jury. Uh, this decision is unanimous. Uh, the jury, uh, Mr. Jones, um, find you guilty of the crime of arson. Um, is this the correct jury? Do you want to pull the jury? You can ask them if this is their decision. Uh, yes, this is your decision. I don't think anybody's going to dispute that the value of the property is less than $250, $250 so it's a misdemeanor, not a maybe, felony. Maybe $2.50. $250. I don't think it's over $250. Um, so the imprisonment will not be for more than one year in jail. Uh, you're going to be held in the uh, Worcester County House of Correction uh, for, uh, I think I'm going to give you six months in prison. You'll be taken away. You'll be stripped of all your merit badges. Can I change my no, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the La Merit Badge moot court. I just wanted to give a special thank you to Mr. Bushman, our Merit Badge counselor, because he helped us get our La Merit Badge and made sure that we got everything we need and he worked really hard, almost as hard as us. Well, uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.